Alright, good morning 5C. This is Mr. Wong. Today is the 16th of April, Thursday. Alright, um, we'll do uh, we'll go through the answers for yesterday's work as well as um to give you today's work uh later on in the lesson. Alright, um I want you to try the class kick. Okay, I go um, I went to class kick. Uh, initially I have Piki and Nasha and Nurai submitting, but I think this week a lot of you are not submitting your uh, class kick basically you're not going into class kick and doing your work okay i just want you to try to do um if it's wrong it's never mind really never mind to me i really want you to try um so that i can at least see where are you looking at uh or are you even looking at the slides that's given or the lesson that i've taught because most of you just leave it blank or most of you don't even click on the class kick link to get even inside class kick and do some work okay this time around in electricity we have the online software that you can play with later on i'll demonstrate also so um it's fun playing that software you can try a lot of different combinations of circuits so please try i really want to see you writing down stuff on your class kick so i know that you are following me and not just clicking the lesson and skipping everything else all right so first first of all let's go through the homework for yesterday yesterday we learned through the videos and the lesson about electrical conductors i'll use red and also electrical insulators which i will use blue right so let's look at um electrical conductors what are electrical conductors okay electrical conductors are materials that allow electric current to flow through them okay so things like your wires um are made of materials that allow the electricity or electric current to flow through them so materials that allow electric current to flow through them are called electrical conductors So um, electrical conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow through them, allow electric current to flow through them. So um, for materials that allow electric current to flow through them easily, use another color, because they are very good conductors, they are okay conductors, they are average conductors, but for those that allow electric current to flow through to flow through them easily we call them good conductors of electricity or good electrical conductors right okay um what kind of material are good electrical conductors most metals are good electrical conductors okay basically all metals are electrical conductors some better than the others so examples are your copper wire Right, examples like your steel. And of course, go. You realize some of the TV cables, the HDMI cables, the ends are coated, are, are gold plated because gold is actually a very good conductor. But of course, it's expensive, so the wires are also quite expensive. Okay, and a similar trend that you will see is that most. Uh, good conductors of electricity most electrical conductors are also good conductors of heat okay for example when we talk about metals metals are also good conductors of heat which we learned in before last year okay so this is electrical conductors okay now we move on to electrical insulators which i will use blue okay so what are electrical insulators insulators electrical, ins electrical insulators are materials that do not allow electric electricity or electric current to flow through them okay so just now conductors are those that allow electric current to flow through them electrical insulators are materials that do not allow electrical or electric current to flow through them so this is electrical insulators okay so electrical insulators do not allow electric current to flow through them and what kind of materials are electrical insulators basically non-metals okay non-metals are electrical insulators 
things like your plastic, things like your glass, things like your clothes, your fabric. Okay, all these are insulators. They do not conduct electricity. They do not allow electric current to flow through them at all. Okay, so things like your glass, things like your plastic, things like your ceramic. Ceramic are, for example, your vase that you use to put your flowers in. Okay, those are ceramic. Even the tiles on the floor, so we call ceramic tiles. Okay, and there is a use for electrical insulators because usually to prevent ourselves from being electrocuted, wires are covered with good electrical insulators such as plastic or rubber. rubber to protect you from being from getting electric shock okay because sometimes we have to touch wires um, move them around so if there's there's no protective cover of it by a good insulator of electricity like uh, plastic and rubber then we'll probably get electric shock so to prevent us from getting shocked by electricity we have to cover it with a layer of plastic or rubber Okay, so it's, it's actually not that difficult if you follow the lesson. Most of you can do this, so please try. Okay, it's not that difficult. Okay, so besides this, there was also activity five point ah uh, four point three, which I wanted you to do. Okay, let's look at activity five four point three first. Is to identify whether is it a electrical conductor or insulator. Okay, same thing. I'll use red and blue. So I want to identify whether certain things are certain materials are conductors or insulators of electricity. So once again, for things that allow electricity to pass through, allow electric current to pass through them, this is what we call electrical conductors. And then on the other hand, Materials that do not allow electric current to pass through them, we call them electrical insulators. All right, okay, okay. So conductors allow electric current to flow through them. Insulators do not allow electric current to flow through them. So your job yesterday was to construct this circuit using the online software having a bulk wire, battery wires and wires leaving a gap in the center. Why is that so? Because later on, we'll be putting the different items in that gap and connect them to the circuit to test whether the bulb will light up to show whether they conduct electricity or not to test if they are electrical conductors or insulators. So first, let's construct this circuit on the online software. So the link is given to you. I'll give the link again in the lesson later. Um, this is the link. Once you get to this page, you click intro and you see this blue screen. Make sure you change to convection of flow at the top right hand corner. Now let's construct the electrical circuit. I have a battery. Let's take it out. I have a bulb. Let's put over here. And then I have wires connecting. So I'm going to connect the metal casing to the battery. At the same time, um, I'm going to put a wire over here. Okay, I'm going to connect it to here exactly like what the diagram is and then from the battery from the positive terminal i'm going to connect to a wire as well as to leave a gap in the center later for my object so this is basically what you need to do for part one to construct a circuit on the electrical uh, circuit construction kit online all right so let's go back to class kick let's see what materials do we need Alright, so you realize that we are going to test all these items. Um, we will do a pencil one. Okay, but before that, maybe we look at all the different type of materials that make up these objects. Okay, so pencil is made of wood. Okay, um, dollar bill in Singapore, the dollar bill is actually made of plastic. Okay, you can feel that it's not paper, it's actually plastic. Unless you have the very old notes, then it's probably made of paper. <clears throat> then it's probably made of paper. Alright. A uh, metal clip is metal. A uh, paper clip is actually metal. 
it depends of course some paper clip there's a plastic covering over it then um, we might have to take away the protective layer um, after that we have our coin which is also made of metal and then after that we have our eraser is made of rubber so just recall back your primary three materials and then for dot and for the hand, it's actually not made of any particular material, but we call it flesh. The human flesh and the flesh of the dog. Basically meat lah. Okay, so this is the flesh. Okay, so now we know the different type of materials. And now let's put all this into our circuit and let's test. So let's start with pencil. Pencil, let's put it in. Uh, prediction is no. Um, does the bulb light up? No. So let's try. I have a pencil, so you realize on the right left hand side of the screen there is a menu. You can press down and then it goes to different materials that you can use. So one of them is a pencil. So I'm gonna put a pencil over here. Okay, you realize that for this case, the pencil they actually sharpen it and you can see the metal tip, the pencil tip, the lead part. Okay, the lead is actually made of metal. So if I connect them together, you will see that the bulb will actually light up. Okay, let's put it this way. Okay, you see the bulb actually lights up. Okay, because they are connected to the LED. However, in our example over here, it's actually connected to the wood. And wood we know is the non-metal, therefore it will not light up. So in this case, it lights up because it's connected to the LED, which is a metal. But in the uh, workbook, they actually are connecting it to the wood part, which is here. And it's not it's a non-metal, that's why it's not um, able to conduct electricity. Okay, so let's go back there. Let's make some prediction first. Um, dollar bill made of plastic. Do you think it will light up? We know plastic is a non-metal, so no, it's going to be an insulator. It will not light up. Metal. Paper clip is a metal. Metal is a conductor of electricity. Yes, it will light up. Is my prediction. And then coin made of metal and metal we know they are conductors of electricity. Yes, they will light up. And then for the next three, a rubber, flash. Okay. Um basically these are non-metal, so I predict that they will not light up. So please write this down. So this is just the prediction. Now we'll go ahead and uh, do the experiment to see whether the bulb lights up or not. All right, so let's try the dollar bill. Okay, so I have a dollar bill here. Take it out, put over here. Connect and connect. Now it's a closed circuit. Did the bulb light up? No. Is there anything wrong with my circuit? No, it's a complete loop. It's a complete circuit. It's a closed circuit. Black bulb did not light up, so the answer is no. Okay, let's go to have a paper clip. So I'll remove this paper clip over here. Connect to the paper clip, connect to the paper clip, and you see the bulb lights up, and you can see there's a closed circuit here. So for paper clip, yes, it lights up. And then for coin, let's break this up first. For our coin, put it over here, connect to the coin, connect to the coin. And you see that the bulb lights up too. So we know that uh, for paper clip, which is made of metal, and for a coin, which is also made of metal, they are conductors. Therefore, the electric, electric current can flow through, and therefore the black bulb lights up. Now we have eraser. So let's take this out. Now we have eraser. Play over here. Connect, connect. Close circuit, but no light coming out from the light bulb. So for eraser, the answer is no. Okay, because eraser is made of rubber. Rubber is a insulator. It will not conduct electricity. The next one is my uh, hand. I'll put over here. 
don't do this at home of course but since it's a software we can do this complete circuit no light coming out so answer is no because flash is not a metal it is an insulator it's not a conductor of electricity therefore it is the no electric current will flow through light bulb will not light up and the last one let's put a dog so same thing don't do this at home of course click connect it you realize again light bulb doesn't light up so the same idea as flash um flash is an insulator it does not allow electricity to pass through therefore the light bulb do not light up okay so make sure you get this down in your book right so with that let's go to the conclusion which are electrical conductors which are electrical insulators what kind of material are electrical conductors which kind of material are electrical insulators so right let's write down okay we know that metals are electrical conductors from the experiment we know wood it's not a electrical is a is an insulator of electricity we know that plastic is an electrical insulator we know that rubber is an electrical insulator basically all non-metals are electrical insulators okay so it's quite simple as that okay all non-metals all right so this is the answer for activity 4.3 um today your homework will be to do exercise four uh, just the first two mcq on page 28 and we'll discuss the answers uh tomorrow all right see you tomorrow